Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hello! Mm -hmm. If you haven't seen me in a minute, I'm huge! And I'm also gonna make something. Since cottage cheese has become the new Greek yogurt and cauliflower. Shh! I'm trying to talk to the people. Um, you're too early. I'm not ready for you yet. Since cauliflower has become the new Greek yogurt and cauliflower substitute for pretty much freaking everything, I'm gonna bite the bullet and make the cottage cheese flatbread. Against my will, because I hate this stuff. But I've been told it doesn't taste like cottage cheese, so here we go. And this has got to be super easy, because it's two things. Maybe some spices. Okay, preheat the oven to 350, which I did as it so rudely interrupted me. In a blender, combine hello, a cup of this stuff. Ugh. It's fine. Okay, that's about a cup. Who ate that? Stand. And then two eggs. Ah. I'm gonna slip on that later. Place in blender. Okay, add cottage cheese, eggs, garlic powder. I don't have garlic powder, but I have garlic, garlic salt. I have garlic, I can't talk. I have garlic salt, and you also need salt, so we're just gonna, there you go, a pinch. Okay, it's probably a pinch. Italian seasoning. Don't have that, despite the fact that I'm 100% Italian. I got <laughs> garlic and herb, Mrs. Dash, or oregano. No. Yeah, we're just gonna skip that part. Black pepper. I don't really like pepper, so I'm gonna skip that. A pinch of salt. I already did that. Great. Okay, where's the top? Oh, that could have. I almost. I almost. Wow. The fuck? Ah! That's, that's really combined. Okay. Spray parchment paper. I never have parchment paper. I have wax paper, and I know that's not the same. Alexa, can I substitute wax paper for parchment paper? According to an Alexa Answers contributor, wax paper is a good substitute for parchment paper for non-cooking uses since it is less expensive. Wax paper is not heat resistant and can catch fire in the oven if you use it to line baking sheets. <laughs> okay, I knew it. I was just really hoping something had changed in the past couple months. Okay, you're gone. Boil it is. <laughs> Pour the kind of cheese stuff. Try to leave it an inch. It's not gonna be a half inch thick. This is liquidy as fuck. Okay. I mean, hopefully that stays thick. That's what she said or something. I don't know. That's it. Bake in the oven for 30 to 40 minutes or until the flatbread has turned a golden brown color. Ta da! There's no pineapple in this, in case you were wondering. You need oven mitts, or just one because it's all you have. Maybe swearing will help. In you go. Oh, God. Middle or top? We're going top. 35 to 40. Okay, 37. And we're off. See you in 37 minutes. All right. Um, ooh, it smells good. It's got a little hump. But it looks promising. The hump is going down. All right, the hump is gone. You gotta let it chill for at least 10 minutes or else it gets angry. Yeah, okay. Now it's time to hopefully peel this off. Be ginger. Oh, this is a good help. Do this. Wow, okay. Now this is huge. I'm probably gonna cut this in dose, literally. Oh, it's not even, but good enough. Now, uh, a normal person would probably use this as like a sandwich, cut it top and bottom and put like, I don't know, cold cuts, sliced turkey, chicken, whatever in there. However, I'm prego. I'm not allowed to eat cold cuts and chicken makes me want to vomit. So I decided to make this more of a breakfast deity. Even though there's eggs in there, I gotta take, I made some more eggs, some egg whites, put some turkey bacon on there, some chez, and some shaved. Brussels sprouts that I'm going to use as lettuce because we are out of lettuce. This is either going to be great or cottage cheese-like. It does not taste like cottage cheese. Holy crap. Really? Oh, this is good. All right. I'm real proud of that. And I even ate just the bread. 
like waiting for cottage cheese to hit me in the face. And it doesn't. I don't understand it, but I don't care. This was great. This probably could have taken five minutes besides the, the 37 minutes. But you know, it's me. But you can make this really quickly. And I'll probably do this again now that I know the flow. Yeah. Winner. Okay, enjoy.